So today I'll be talking about um, various data function and file customization features we've been adding to Embedded Coder in the past few releases. So we've been hard at work adding new capabilities to Embedded Coder to help you get the exact code you want. Um, we've been adding data customizations, um, function customizations, including static keyword to functions, and also file customizations. And I'll get into most of these in the next few slides. So we've added the ability to easily configure your data. So today, if you generate code, you'll, you, you'll typically see these data structures. Um, and if you want to customize them, you need to go into your model and find the various points of the model that create this data and add data objects and storage classes. So this is really hard in some cases, like states that are producing global variables, and it's actually impossible in other cases when you have things like zero crossing signals. So in 18A, we've added something called our code mappings panel. So if we look at this closer, we could see that we've added a spreadsheet with various types of modeling elements, and you could apply a storage class to classes of data instead of specific pieces in your model. So I'll focus on our imports, our outports, our internal data. If a user wanted to import their imports, export their outports, and make their internal data file scope, now all they need to do is use these simple dropdowns and set their storage classes. And after generating code, you can see that the code comes out exactly as, as the user would want it to. Um, it's fully optimized, and they, as, as they upgrade releases, they can still see more optimizations kicking in. We've also been working on the ability to customize functions. So next to our, our, our data code mappings, we, we've added function mappings. And we've added something called the Embedded Coder Dictionary. So with the Embedded Coder Dictionary, you, we've added something called function customization templates in which it's really easy to customize your functions. So in this case, I've added fast. I've created a fast functions customization. I've added fast to our, our function name. And we've also added a memory sections panel, which makes it easy to change the memory section of your functions. So if we drill into here, we can see that I've added pragmas um, to, our, to the functions, and I've changed the comment. And then you can easily apply these new customizations to different types of functions. So after generating code, you can see that we've now changed our, our step function name, and we've added pragmas. So this new capability makes it easier than ever to change um, how your functions come out. In addition, we've added the ability to change your file names. Um, this, this hasn't been there um, for, for model files in the past. So we've added something to the, the code placement pane of the, the configuration set. And we've added the ability to change your, your header file names, your source file names, and your data file names. We're using our same name, naming rule types that, that we use in our symbol pane. Um, and in this case, I'll, I'll just change my header files to say project header and my source files to say project source. And now, if you generate code for a model, such as RTW demo counter, you can see that we've actually changed the, the header file names. And this was not possible before 18A. So, Please, try out 18A, try out our new customization features, and, and let us know how it works. Thank you.